In Retro Game of the Week, we dive into our game library and pick out a classic to see if it still holds up today. Let's grab a controller and play some Retro, Retro, Retro Games! Ho! Back in the early 80s, when Mario was kicking ass on the first Nintendo, PC gamers had no platform games to speak of. They had to wait till the 90s for Commander Keen, the platform game every PC gamer loved. Seven official Commander Keen games were released for the PC under MS-DOS. The first episode of a series was available as shareware. After playing an episode for free, Gamers were asked to pay for the next two episodes. It's a lot like the modern free-to-play model, but with physical floppy disks instead of high-speed downloads. The very first game is called Commander Keen and the Invasion of the Vorticons, Marooned on Mars. Try saying that a couple of times. The game was about an eight-year-old boy genius, Billy Blaze, who built a spaceship out of old soup cans and other household objects. As soon as the babysitter fell asleep, Billy became Commander Keen, Defender of Earth. It didn't take long before Billy lost parts of his ship on Mars and needed to retrieve them. On the planet, he met the hostile Vorticons and that set the tone for the first series, in which these aliens want to destroy the Earth. Commander Keen was a classic platform game with lots of jumping. A pogo stick that would let you jump even higher was the biggest invention in the game. Another interesting addition was the use of an overworld, which let you skip certain levels. ID Software made the interesting choice of not including death in the game. Enemies would get stunned but never truly died. But if we're going to be really honest, we have to say that time hasn't been Keen's best friend. The game looks extremely dated and the slow-paced gameplay really doesn't hold up. However, you can find these classics on Steam for only a few bucks. And that money will get you a large dose of nostalgia if you grew up on these classic platform games. Bye.